and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to look at some perfume oils that I purchased recently. I think I bought from like three or four different companies just to kind of try out which ones I like better. But perfume oils, I love them. I have a, I have quite a few in my collection, but I don't really talk about them too much on my channel because I feel like people either really like perfume oils or they're just not into them. So if this isn't for you, I totally understand. But I know there are people out there that do enjoy perfume oils. So um, I'm just going to get right into it because I did buy quite a few. And all of these are, are basically... Uh, replicating niche or designer perfumes out there um majority of them i don't know if i bought any I'll, I'll look and see i'm not sure if i bought anything that was original blend or anything but they're all basically based off of designer or niche perfumes the first company i uh bought from was from oil perfumery i will leave their name right here and i will also leave like links down below to everywhere where i purchased them oil perfumery i think is based out of canada but this was a U.S. website, and I didn't have any issues, so um, I bought them no problem. And it was, I think they have a Canada website and a U.S. website, so I'll leave the U.S. website down below. But the first one is, um, and I just wanted to say a quick thing. I really like perfume oils because if you're someone like me, I have very dry skin. So sometimes I like to layer my perfumes. I like to put on some perfume oil, and sometimes I layer the same scent or a different scent to kind of make a uh, different perfume smell, but I do like to layer my perfume sometimes, especially coming up in the fall and winter when it starts, my skin gets very dry. I will put lotion on, put the perfume oil on, and I will spray perfume, um, you know, of my choice of the day. So it's just kind of an idea if you guys, if you guys do have dry skin, sometimes perfume oils is really nice. You can, I mean, you can wear perfume oils if you don't have dry skin, but I'm just saying for people that have a problem with perfume sticking on or staying on their skin throughout the day, try perfume oil out. It's, it's actually quite, they're quite nice and they're fun to play with. So I'll, going on to perfume, oil perfumery. The first one I got is um, Oud Wood. And this is a Tom Ford dupe. And this one is really nice. This actually I think is uh, primarily a men's, and I like men's cologne too, so I have men's cologne stuff in here and fem I have men and women's because I like wearing both. But this one is a really nice woody, um, it has vetiver in it, so it's like a woody, slightly spicy, a little aromatic scent. It's really pretty. It's quite light. It's not heavy. Um, and, oh, I, by the way, their bottles look like this. Uh, hopefully you can see from, they, ha they put the labels on here like that. And then they put, um, you may not see it, but, and it just says oil perfumery here. I, because I have, I, I, their labels are kind of a little bit more papery, so I did put some packing tape over it so it didn't like smudge or smear. That's, you don't have to do that, that was just me, but I did put some tape around it just so it didn't um, smear. And then they have their roller balls, and these are all 10 ml. And here, and the prices range depending on what perfume you buy, um, and the prices vary, so. And they all come in like 10 ml. I think they have bigger bottles, 60 ml, and obviously those are more expensive, but the 10 ml are like the basic um, basic size. And they all have a stainless steel roller ball, and, and I have to say none of mine leaked. I, I got mine in the mail, and I didn't have a single one that had, none of them leaked. So, because that's, you know, I feel like that's important. But yeah, so I have Oud Wood. Very good. It's kind of light, though. It's not, it's not like really heavy and overpowering. The next one I want, and a lot of these are perfumes that I have been wanting to try, but I just feel like I don't really want to pay the full price for it, just blind buy a bottle of them. And sometimes the samples are so small, you can't get a good wear out of them. So I figured, eh, why not just get a um, body oil and try it out and see if I like it. This one is Frederick Mall's Portrait of a Lady. And I had been wanting to try this one for so long. This is a really pretty, mature rose scent. It's kind of a jammy rose. It's got black currant in there and, and definitely rose. And it also has some spices. Incense, cinnamon, clove, lots of spices, some woodiness. <laughs> when I wore this, I have been watching, don't judge me, okay? I have been watching just mindless TV shows on Netflix. I've been watching Vampire Diaries. It's so, you don't have to even say it, but it's not, it's not, it's just, a, it's just an easy mindless show. But 
for some reason, this perfume reminds me of like that vampire-y, kind of like deeper, darker, sensual, rose type scent. Sophisticated, kind of like a woman when in, wearing all black, dark, like Morticia. She might wear something like this. It's a really pretty rose patchouli scent. Dark, deep um, scent. And this is, all of these are quite long lasting on my skin. Like the perfume oils, they project pretty well. If they're lighter, I'll let you know. But they all smell quite strong and you can really smell them. And they last a long time on my skin. Um, I'm not going to go through each one because only because this would take forever. I have a ton to go through. But yeah, Portrait of a Lady, really nice. I'm glad, to, I'm glad I got to try it. Jammy Rose Patchouli Scent. Then I also got the Frederick Mall Lipstick Rose. And this one is really pretty if you like those powdery, powdery scents, in which I really, I love powdery scents. It, it's got violet, rose, definitely iris. It's, it's kind of, it's just a very powdery, violet, rose, iris scent. It's kind of clean, fruity. Um, I think it's got grapefruit in here, amber. It's got that makeup -y, lipsticky type of scent. Really, really pretty. I really like this one. So that is Lipstick Rose by um, Frederick Mall. Then I have Le Labo Santal 33. I have been wanting to try this one for so long, um, but didn't want to pay the price tag for it. So sorry, my lighting is a little weird. But this one, I, I really like this one. This one is a really nice sandalwood scent. A little spicy. It's got iris, sandalwood, cedarwood. And Broxen, leather. My husband really didn't. I when I put this on when I first got the package, I put this one on, and I think I it's it's this one's really strong. I was in the car with him, and he said he I, it was giving him a headache. But then I put it on like a couple days later, and he said he liked it. So I think it was just it was probably really hot that day. This is a very very strong scent, very long lasting. Um, it filled up the whole car. And I just put a little on, so. But it's a really, really nice, beautiful sandalwood scent. I can see this as a unisex scent. Um, it's just like a woody sandalwood scent. Really, really pretty. Uh, then I have here is, this is actually considered a men's uh, fragrance. This is Hermes, Thierre de Hermes. And this one, yeah, this is considered a men's cologne. But the, to me, this is a really... To me, this is unisex, but it's very citrusy. Grapefruit, citruses, orange, heavy on the orange, orange zest. Um, it's got a little of a peppery note in here. It's kind of peppery, zesty, orangey. I really like this one. It's got amber. It's quite strong. Um, I think if you're, if you like those type of zesty, citrusy, peppery, Little slightly spicy scents. I think you, as a you know, woman might like wearing that, and especially in the oil. I feel like you don't have to buy the whole cologne if you expect. I have a sample. By the way, I have a sample. This is the one I tried. This one, the real version of it, it's dead on. I have a sample of it, and I really liked it. But I was, I was like, I don't really want to buy the full bottle of it because I don't know. My husband didn't care for it on himself, so and I don't know how much I would wear it for a full bottle. But a perfume oil, yeah, I'll wear it. It smells really, really pretty. Nice, clean, fresh scent. This one here is by Amouage, and this is Blossom Love. Now, this one, because if you guys know, I've talked previously about the Amouage uh, Lilac Love is my, I love that scent. That one, to me, is like the precious gem in my collection. I just, I love the scent of lilac, and I love that one. So, I had a, I didn't really want to bite the bullet and buy a full bottle of the Blossom Love because I wasn't sure. Because it has the main note is cherry blossom. Now for me, cherry blossom can go either way. I do like cherry blossom, but sometimes it can give me a headache. Uh, this one, I'm kind of scared to put on because I sense that it's going to give me a headache. It is very strong in the cherry blossom. It's a beautiful cherry blossom. It's a little bit sharp for me. And it's got like this almondy uh, warmth to it. It's very, very pretty. It's heliotrope, amaretto, cherry blossom. So it's kind of warm. It's kind of, it's got that almondy type of note to it. However, the cherry blossom is really strong. And so I'm kind of, a, and this is a very strong scent, uh, this oil. 
So I'm afraid to wear this one. I think if I just do it lightly, it might be fine. But um, yeah, this is the only one that I bought in the bunch that I'm like, ooh, I don't know if I'm, this is for me. It's not that it's a bad scent. I think it's just that the cherry blossom might be a little strong for me in this one. But this is Homage Blossom Love. But I think if you really like cherry blossom, you probably would like this one. Then I've got the Raja Dove Amber Oud. And I haven't tried anything from this brand, so I wanted I really like this one. This one is a chameleon for me. This one says it has bergamot, lemon, lime, fig, jasmine, ambergris, civet, musk, oat moss. It has a ton of notes, saffron, oud, sandalwood. I have worn this multiple times, this um, oil. It's very, very, very strong. And every single time I've worn it, it smells different on me. I wore it the other day. It kind of got very creamy, and, and it, it, it got, like, sweet. Then I wore it the other day, and it was raining out, and it got very woody on me. Very, very woody, musky, and I liked it then, too. I liked it both times. But it was just funny how I wore it two separate times. One time it was warmer out, and then another time it was kind of rainy and kind of muggy. And it smelled so different both times, which I kind of liked that. I was like, you don't know what you're going to get when you put this one on. But it was really very long-lasting, very, very pretty. So that's Raja Dove's Amber Oud. Highly recommend that one. This one is by Christian Dior. This is that Feb Delicious. Delicious. I'm not saying that right, but you'll forgive me. I know you will. My lighting is pretty rough today, but okay. You get the idea. This one is Tonka. Tonka bean, tonka bean, tonka bean, vanilla, caramel, cacao, praline, and woods. This smelled very similar to my beloved uh, um, commodity tonka, except this one's a little bit more, it has a little bit more depth to it, whereas that commodity tonka is just tonka, but this one has a little bit more depth to it. It's kind of powdery, very sweet, very, 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 very long-lasting, and very, very strong. This this perfume oil in particular. I, I put this on, and it was almost like too strong at first. I got over that fast because I liked it. But it was, it was very, very strong. But I, it was very good. That's Feb Delicious by Christian Dior. But if you like Tonka... I think you'll really like that one. The next one I got is the Mason Francis MFK. I'm just going to say MFK because it just always, I have recorded this a couple times and it's a tongue twister for me. But MFK, Grand Soir. I've been wanting to really try this one because I feel like it is a really beautiful amber oud vanilla type of scent. And that's really what it is. It's got uh, benzoin, tonka, vanilla, amber. It's a little bit spicy. It's really good. And this one's very strong as well. And yeah, it's got like a, it's like a spicy vanilla, amber type of scent. It's really delicious. It's, I think this would be so, I know this is going to be so nice in the fall and winter. So there's that one. I really like that. And then the last one from Oil Perfumery is, this one's called Body Musk. And I heard about this one from The Scented. I'll leave her channel down below. I'm sure you know who she is. And she's a Canadian. She, do, she lives in Canada, and she, um, she does really good reviews. But I heard her talking about this one. I heard her talking about oil perfumery in general, but I thought it was really, I wasn't really um, into buying perfume oils at the time, but, you know, that changed fast. So, But she talked about this one. This one is much thicker, and you can see kind of how thick it is. And it is thick, and it does leave it, it, when you put it on, it can get a little sticky, but I think if you put this on after the shower, it's perfect. It smells like a beautiful musk. It's really like a very nice, kind of floral, powdery, woody musk. It kind of smells like Dove or Ivory Soap. Clean, very clean, and I think this is really nice for out of the shower. Yes, I really like this one. It's, it sits close to the skin. It's not overly... Um, loud or anything and it's probably a good mixing one or one that yeah one that you can put on after the shower and then you put whatever fragrance you want for the day on i'm very happy with oil this oil perfumery i was really really happy this video is going to be long uh, okay well i'll try to quicken it up a little bit i'm very happy with that brand 
Uh, the prices are a little bit, I think, more on the higher. They're not super, super high, but I think it's like mid-range. Um, you know, I do have a few more like affordable perfume oils. This is still affordable, but I have more affordable. Um, I next saw the Eva Monroe. I'll link her channel down below. She talks about this company quite a bit. It is called um, FragrantBodyOil.com. I'll leave it down below or on the screen here. And the pricing is really, really good. And she said that their oils were really good. So I was like, yeah, I'll check them out. And they're good. They're good. So the first one I got from this company, I got different sizes. I got some one ounce sizes and I got some one third ounce uh, roller balls. They're all roller balls. They do sell body lotions, body spray. They sell a bunch of different things, not just oil. So if you like a scent, you can usually get it in a different form if you want soaps, lotions, you name it, they have it. But I got all of just the oils. And um, everything, like I said, all of these had really fast shipping. I didn't have any issues with leaking. No, none of these, these were packaged really well. The fragrant body oils packaged well. I didn't have any leaking. They gave me a bunch of samples too. I'm not going to go over those because it would take too long, but I was really pleased with the shipping and all that. But this is, um, I got Sunshine Woman by Amwaj. Now, hopefully you can read the, the name. Now, I got some of these that I, I have sampled before. This one, obviously, I haven't sampled before, but um, this one smells so good. Very, very, very long-lasting. This is the one-ounce bottle, uh, one-ounce roller ball, by the way. So if you're looking online, this is the one-ounce bottle. Um, and they do they do some deals, like appreciation deals, so you can go on there. I think a few of these, the one-ounce bottles, the reason why I got one-ounce bottles, because they were basically, they were half off, so they were very cheap. Like, this one, I think, might have been $7.99, so it was pretty cheap. Um, but this it smells very similar to, I've had some, you know, other duplicate perfumes of this fragrance. smells dead on. And Eva Monroe had said that this one, because she has Sunshine Woman, but I'm um, she had the actual fragrance, and she said this smells 100% like it. So, smells so good. And this is very strong and very long-lasting. I mean, this, you've got to be a little easy on how much you put on because it, um, the roller balls are really nice on here, too. Yeah, this smells really good. It's very osmanthus, almond, apricot, vanilla, white tobacco, warm, very nice warm scent and it and it warms up the more you wear it it warms and warms and warms up so that one is sunshine woman by amouage very good i don't know if i'm going to show you close up should i i don't know if you can even read them the next one i got is by mancera and this is coco Vini. i love mancera brand so i wanted to try this one there's another one that was like on sale so i really like this one Coconut, vanilla, jasmine, musk. It's a very warm vanilla coconut scent. Very pretty. I think this would be really nice for fall and, not fall, but even like a transition period, but definitely for like the summer or fall transition because it's kind of warm, but still coconut. It smells really good. So that is Coco Vani by Mancera. That one's really, really pretty. All of these are all very long lasting too. I have this one in an actual fragrance, like I actually have the perfume in my collection, so I know what it smells like, and it smells so similar. This is by Montal, and this is Rose's Musk, and this smells just like it, and it's so pretty, it's like a fluorescent pink. Yeah, this one's Rose Musk, it's a dry rose musk, and this smells just like it, and it really lasts, the perfume lasts a very long time and this one lasts extremely well too so if you wanted to try that one but didn't want to pay you know the price tag for it this one smells just like it guys so that one is Montal Roses Musk really good really recommend that one definitely and then I got this one by Tom Ford this one is their amends fragrance but this is gray vetiver and I have been wanting to try this fragrance for quite a while but it's you know, it's pricey, and it's a men's cologne, and I wasn't sure if I would like it for myself. I like this one. This one is an aromatic, woody, citrusy, spicy scent. It's woody. It's clean. It kind of it smells like barbershop type of clean. Uh, when you first put it on, the vetiver is quite strong. The, the whole fragrance is like a vetiver fragrance, but it's kind of more of a 
when you first put it on, it's very green, but after it warms up, it becomes that like soapy kind of uh, barbershop type of scent, which I really like. It smells so good. This one smells really, really, really good. I mean, it does smell kind of masculine, but it smells like a clean, like a fresh, clean man. So that is Grey Vetiver by Tom Ford. And then the rest of these I have, there's the smaller ones. So the, these are the one third ounce. So if you're looking like online to see it compared to the size, I'll just show you like this is the one ounce here and this was the one third ounce. So just for comparison purposes. So that way if you guys are looking and weren't sure, that's that. This one is Oud Satin Mood by MFK. Really like this one. This one is a Oud in Rose with Vanilla. So it's, it's got some spice, it warms up, it's really warm. It's, it's a very sensual scent. My husband likes this one. It warms up really nice on the skin. The color of this is kind of like a grayish blue color. This one's really, really good. Really, really good. And sometimes I, I don't feel like I need to get the full bottle of these now that I have these all these oils. Like I'm content with these. Like, And I, I'm glad I got to try them because I feel like some of them, I'm like, well, I'm glad I got to try it because like, I don't necessarily love it enough for a full bottle, but I like to have it. These are really, really good. And this one I got because um, Eva Monroe talked about this one, but this one is Bond Number no. 9 Andy Warhol. I don't know if you can be able to see that. And this one, it's really pretty, but it's not my style. This one is a kind of a floral scent. I like it. It doesn't smell bad or anything, but it, it has citruses. It has jasmine, rose. Olibanum, vanilla, and musk. It's kind of like a, um, a florally, citrusy type of scent. I haven't worn this too much on my skin, so I, I can't, you know, say for sure. But out of the, when I smell it here and I tried it a little bit, it, it smells really good, but I wouldn't, I mean, I wouldn't buy a bottle of the Bond one. But that one is the Andy Warhol Bond number no. 9. And then I have, oh, I really like this one. I like the perfume. I have a sample of the perfume. This is Mancera Roses Zanine. I have a sample of the perfume, and it smells 100% like this. This one, oh, God, I really like this one. This is a really nice rose vanilla. It's got like this, it's kind of sugary with some musk. It has that very particular... Mancera Montel synthetic smell to it because I know some people don't enjoy that. So, so the, the you know the Montel and Mon Mancera ones have that note in it, but I I like that. Yeah, it's a really really nice rose vanilla scent, and if you like rose and you like vanilla, I think you might like this one. This one and this one's very long lasting, and it warms up, and the vanilla just gets really cozy, and I love this one. This one. This one's a good one. I should have gotten a bigger bottle with this one, but I didn't. I mean, I have enough. I have enough here. This one um, is Bond Number no. 9 Chinatown. I have a, a decant of Chinatown, and I kept going back and forth of whether or not I wanted a fro like a full bottle of it, and I like I wasn't sure because I wasn't sure how much I'd wear it. I've gone through half of that decant, but I don't need to buy a, a bottle of it. This one smells 100% like it. Chinatown to me smells like a tuberose, incense kind of, it's got gardenia in there, it's honey, it, it's got orange blossom, but it does, it, it smells like a tuberose, gardenia, honey, incense patchouli scent. It reminds me of something like you would find at Lush or one of those Lush perfumes because of the way it, it's kind of like heady, but in a, in a good way. But I really like, it smells 100% like the fragrance. I have a decant of it, and so I am happy to have the oil. So I'm fine with that. I don't need any more to buy a bottle. This one is Mason Martin Margiela Mutiny. I don't see too many people talking about this fragrance in particular, so I wanted to try it. Actually, I really quite like it. Believe it or not, when I first, when I bought this, I thought I was buying something else. But that's fine. It's still... It smells really, really good. It's got orange apple, orange blossom, peach, pear, tuberose, oud, vanilla, and patchouli. This to me smells like, it's kind of, it's, it's a really nice, 
slightly sweet, but you know what, how sweet tea smells? It's sweet, but it's kind of like flat sweet. Does that make sense? You know, when you, yeah, when you smell tea, it's not like effervescent or anything. It's kind of just flat sweet. It's not so, too sweet. It's kind of like that. It's like a sweet tea type of smell. It's, I don't know what makes it smell like tea, but it has like that, like some, it smells like there's tea, a tea note in here. Because I smell, it reminds me of um, Nest Indigo, which to me, that was a, that's a good one. So it, it's very similar to that one. Um, so that one is Mason Martin Margiela Mutiny. Then I have a Byron Mula Mula. And I've been wanting to try this one too. This one has peach, saffron, caramel, ginger, pink pepper, musk, patchouli, and vanilla. This to me, it's weird. There doesn't say there's like a lemon note. It smells lemony, sweet, like lemony, vanilla. It's really, really pretty, but it does smell like, like a lemon and vanilla type of fragrance. Yeah, it's really good. It's sweet. This one's a really pretty sweet one. So that is Mula Mula by Byron. And then I have Unknown Pleasures by Kerosene. I have been wanting to try this one too. So that's Unknown Pleasures by Kerosene. I'll, I'll list the perfumes down below because you might not be able to see them. This one is, it says it's got Earl Grey tea, lemon, honey, tonka, caramel, and waffle cone. And those notes kind of just like, I was like, oh, I'm going to try that out. This smells really good. It's, it's sweet, lemony. It's got that, I can smell that tea note. It's like a really nice Earl Grey tea with honey and lemon. And then... Someone's making waffle cones around you. You know what I mean? Like you're sitting at, like you're sitting down somewhere and you're drinking your tea and lemon and it's hot, it's warm, like the tea is hot and then they're cooking waffle cones in the background. That's what it smells like. It's really delicious. It's a very nice gourmand scent. And then I have Roja Dove Elixir. And I wanted to try this. This one I kind of just randomly picked up because I wanted to try something from this. And this one has Lily of the Valley. Geranium, rose, jasmine, heliotrope, violet, with fruits and wood. This one, I, I have to try out more. I think the Lily of the Valley is throwing me off. I'm not a Lily of the Valley fan sometimes. So something in here, and then I can smell like the raspberry too, but I have to try this one out. It's a, it's a floral, fruity floral with some wood. It's a pretty smell. I don't have anything that smells like it, but I want to try it out a little bit more before... So I'm not 100% sure I'm sold on that one, but it's still a nice one to try out. And then I did get Molecule 01 by Eccentric Molecules. It's just an ISO uh, e-super. It's really pretty. It's like fluorescent purple. But this one's really nice. It's long-lasting, woody. It's like really just a, it's like a woody scent that you keep getting whiffs of uh, as it warms up on your skin. You don't necessarily, maybe you don't smell it when you first put it on, but... As it warms up, I keep getting, and it's a good mixer. I really like this one for mixing. It's a perfect mixer perfume. Um, but that's really good. It smells just just like it. Should I keep going? I have a few more from, yeah, I'm just going to go really quick. So if, you, if you're if you still hanging on there, give this video a thumbs up. I mean, I appreciate you guys still being here. If you're here this long, it's going on and on. I got this one. Um, I saw Eva Monroe talking about it and a few other people. But I really like, it's by Swiss Arabian, and this one is called Private Musk. It comes in a, this one's a little bit more expensive. I think I paid $38 on Amazon, um, but it, it's, it's a 12 ml, and it's a perfume oil, and it comes in this really nice box. But it, it comes with a rollerball, too, so you can add the rollerball if you want to. Um, this one is a really beautiful bottle. It is, so like I said, it is a little bit more expensive, but I think it's worth it. It's a really beautiful oil, and it's got a really, it's, it, this is a heavy bottle. Um, like I said, it's 12 ml, and this one, it comes with a, like a, a dabber. This one is really pretty. It's a gorgeous musk. This one smells so good. This one's got caramel candy floss, which is like a cotton candy scent, saffron, uh, jasmine, amber. I think some people compared it, when I looked online, they compared it to like a Baccarat Rouge, and I was like, oh gosh, I hope it doesn't smell like that, because I really don't need any more Baccarat Rouge dupes or anything like that, because 
that's fine to me. I don't mind it, but it's not, I don't love it. It's, I don't get, I'm not like crazy obsessed with it. Um, it doesn't smell like that. It's a really pretty, like musky, kind of sweet. Yeah, sweet with some, you can smell the caramel in there. It warms up so nice. It, it, it mixes well with a lot of other fragrances. You can wear it on its own. Like I'm wearing it today. I don't think it competes with anything, but you can definitely smell that it's there. It lasts all day on the skin. It's really, really long lasting. I think this is a really great standalone oil or it's a great mixing one. So, um, you know, if you're looking for, maybe if you're just looking for one oil, this one's really, really, I think it's really good quality. Uh, it's really long lasting. So that one is the Swiss Arabian Private Musk. And the bottle's so pretty. Um, mine wasn't very full. Like, it looks like I used a ton of it. You don't need a lot. Mine, I think mine leaked a little bit when I ordered it from Amazon. So it, it wasn't super full. But, yeah, it's all right. And then the last few I got here is... These are from Al Rehab. These were really cheap. I got six for $20. And so and these I got on Amazon. So I'll go over these really, really quick. Um, I bought these first before I bought all these other perfumes. But if the, if this came in like a set. So I bought one set, had all of these in. So I had six in a box. And it came in a box like, like this. So I paid $20 for this box, and they came in with six of them. And these are six ml. This one has Choco Musk in it. For someone, anyone that loves chocolate, this one's really, like, I think if you're a chocolate lover, like, milk chocolate. So it's chocolate and vanilla. It's milk chocolate with vanilla. It smells really, really pretty. These are very long-lasting, and they're quite strong. I think these are good quality. I think they're, like, the cheaper, but they're still good quality. So Choco Musk is really, really good. It's like a milk chocolate vanilla scent. So it looks like that. And these are all roller balls. These are roller balls. It also came with um, Sultan Al Oud. You're, you're not going to be able to read that because the writing is like very, very small. I'll put it down below in the description. This one's a really nice woody oud scent. But it has some sweetness to it too. It's not, it's not uh, dirty. Or animalic or anything it's just a, like a very wearable oud with some sweetness to it this reminds me so much people who watch me may not know but do you guys remember the perfume uh, ohm from gap it smells like this it smells just like this so if you guys used to like ohm i think i was the only one that liked ohm because i feel like people didn't like that scent but i did it smells like that it smells really good and then I have Red Roses. This one is a very powdery, clean rose scent. Soapy. Pretty. I really like that. But definitely more of a powdery rose. It's very, very pretty. With some sweetness to it, too. White Musk. Guys, I think I, I mean, White Musk is like one of my favorites from the group here. I thought like I was going to like chocolate. This smells like the best musk. It's it's like a like a fresh, clean musk. Some florals and sweetness in there, but it smells so good. There's something like effervescent about this one. It's like crisp or I don't know. I really like this one. It it smells really really good. That one's very very nice one. This one's called Soft. This one smells just like Aqualina Pink Sugar with lemon. It's got a very strong lemon note in the opening. I like this better. Aqualina Pink Sugar. It smells just like it. It's like burnt sugar with lemon. Um, my husband likes this one. It's sweet. But yeah, it's just all it is is kind of like a burnt sugar caramel type of scent with lemon in the opening. It's, it's pretty. And the last one that came in there was Jasmine. And this one is a really just Jasmine. Very floral kind of heady jasmine. I like it though. I think this would be a good mixing one. Like if you wanted to add jasmine to any of your fragrances, this would be really nice. Very strong though. I put this one on and my husband did not like it. So guys, I hope you stuck around this long. That was a really long video, but um, I've been really loving like all of these oils. I have been wearing almost 
trying out these oils for a few weeks now and haven't been picking up any fragrance at the moment because I've been wearing just these and they're strong. So let me know if you guys have tried any of these fragrances or do you guys like fragrance oils? Do you, do you prefer oils over perfume or vice versa? I'm just curious what you guys, I know a lot of people like to spray their fragrances on rather than roll them on, but I think these are really nice and handy to throw in your bag and, you know, and they're small too. Well, if you get the small ones. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. I'd appreciate that and I will talk to you later. Bye!